Hey, little mama. I started YouTube almost 10 years ago. I've seen it evolve. I've seen it change. One thing has always remained the same. Hate comments. Whether it was Tumblr, Daily Booth, Ask FM, or YouTube, there's always trolls, there's always haters. And I've seen a lot of people make the video reading hate comments, reacting to hate comments, and I think it's my turn. I've never done it, and I wanna do it. I want to do it. Something about reading people's mean opinions of me brings me some kind of sick and twisted joy. It does hurt my feelings. I'm not stone cold, it, it hurts to read, but I, I like it. I don't know, it's a deeper issue I need to address. And guess what? I'm not blurring nobody's usernames. You wanna be bold enough to say it? Well guess what? Don't know what to tell ya. You said it, you put it online. You're clearly proud of it. I'm fine, I'm fine. So I was gonna make this video, I think a year ago, and then I never got around to doing it, because I'm a <laughs> So I have some old screenshots that I saved from then, and then I found some new ones, and this is gonna be really fun. The little self-esteem I have is going out the window today. There's a theme to a lot of these comments. I don't know why. I don't know where these people get their information. I don't know if they're all hanging out, chatting, if they have a little IM group. Everyone seems to think I'm a hoe. Fine. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, here are some of the comments under that category. I feel like Andrea f***s a guy each time she gets drunk, which is like every other day. So her body count is prop 1000. Now, if this comment wasn't bad enough, 225 people thumbs it up. <laughs> so it's kind of like 225 people just saying that to me, um, which feels great. I feel like because a lot of my videos are drinking or smoking, people think that I'm just constantly drunk or high. I am high right now, but that doesn't count. <laughs> I'm having a hard time defending this one. I honestly, when's the last time I had sex? Last June, I talked about this a couple videos ago. Guess what, nothing's changed. And I've gotten drunk plenty of times since then. I showed them. I feel like Andrea is a little slut. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Well, you're wrong. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? What if I was? Who cares? I don't even know who Andrea Russett is but she a goddamn hoe. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, why? Why? We've had so much fun with the slut category, but let's move on. Andrea has always rubbed me the wrong way, but whatever. It's a Corey video, so I had to watch. Hmm. Here's a sweet one. <laughs> Sakes, Andrea pisses me off so much, I don't even know why either. She just gives off crazy bad vibes. 45 people thumbs to that one up. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Um, I've been told I give off good vibes by other people, so... I do this dumb, 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 dumb thing where I search my name on Twitter, I search my indirects, and it's never good. It's never fun. You know, people are not tagging you for a reason. It's probably something hurtful. <laughs> okay, but Tana might be annoying to some people, but she's actually funny. Andrea Russet is just annoying and she doesn't know it. No, I actually, I'm, I'm very well aware that I'm annoying. It's like I'm self-aware. So, does that make it better? God, why do I still have Andrea Russet on Snapchat? She's so f***ing annoying, oh my god. It's really easy to delete people on Snapchat and you could have just done that instead of taking it to Twitter and typing it out, thinking, oh, Andrea won't see it. A lot of these, I just think to myself, like, why even take the time to type it out? You took time out of your day to be a f***ing to someone you don't even know. Like, why not just shut the f*** up and move along? <laughs> Andrew Russell is so annoying. Why is she always on my timeline? Sorry, clearly people don't think I'm annoying if they're retweeting me onto your timeline. <laughs> I would hate me too. Watched at Andrea Russell's Insta story and thought, this bitch is going through a breakup, dot, dot, dot. Think I was right. And this was, this was tweeted <laughs> right when I was going through a breakup. So I guess it was a little obvious. You think with all these paid promotions, you'd have a decent microphone. This was on that video. It was a paid video. It was for a haunted house and the microphones were <laughs> 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 
And that was not my fault. When I heard that back, I was so mad. It was like you couldn't, I couldn't refilm it. So, I don't know. I feel like she hasn't been relevant since like 2014, 2015. But she hangs out with bigger YouTubers to get known again. I don't remember the last time I hung out with a YouTuber, to my defense. So. So I don't know where you're getting this information from. I know I'm being a bitch and I don't care. Oh, this is gonna be good. Comment if you want. I won't read it, but I really don't like Andrea. I think she's a bit of an attention seeker. I mean, what YouTuber isn't? She just doesn't fit in. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think she's a bit of an attention seeker, but I mean, what YouTuber isn't? She just doesn't fit in. You're saying all YouTubers are attention seekers like me, but I don't fit in? Am I missing something or does that not make sense? Maybe I'm just high. Another trend among my hate I get is always on my videos that are drunk or high with people thinking that I'm just pretending. But my question is, is she really drunk or high? It didn't seem like that. I love her. But it seemed a bit forced. A lot, lol. First of all, adding I love her into something doesn't make it less mean. Although this isn't really hate. I always know with every video that's drunk or high, there's no way to prove to you. All day and night, people could talk and discuss if I'm taking water shots or alcohol, if I'm smoking or not. I am. Like, I don't, <laughs> that's all I can say, I am. The drunk versus high video, I almost didn't upload it because of how drunk I looked in it. So if people think that that's acting, you're giving me way too much credit. But at the end of the day, like, believe it or don't. I'm not forcing you to watch it. Really, uh, hurting for content, huh? Always. Aren't we all? As someone who smokes on the regular, it seems like she wasn't even high and she was just trying to act like it. Also, girl, acting like smoking one joint is crazy laughing crying emoji. Everybody's different, okay? I saw a lot of comments about people being like, one joint? That's not even a lot. And then I saw a far spectrum of like, how the f did you smoke a whole joint? Which just proves my point that everybody's different. Some people can smoke five joints and not feel anything. Some people can take one hit and be high off their ass. So let me live, okay? I don't believe that she was high. Well, guess what? Username, you need to stop. You need to stop. Ooh, this one's my personal favorite. Oh, I forgot about Andrea Russett <laughs> with 87 thumbs up. I see comments and tweets all the time that are like, whoa, remember Andrea Russett? Where is she at now? Ready? Me, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, here's a nice one. Her makeup is pissing me off. I feel ya. In a lot of my videos, I watch it back and I'm like, just realized how tiny her forehead is, dot, dot, dot. Can't stop looking at it, lol. You know, I actually get this a lot, that my forehead is like weirdly small. And then once you see it, you can't unsee it, so. Ha! I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. It's my forehead, I can't really change it, so. And last but not least, we'll leave it off with a comment that I too agree with. You're one of the crazies. Sis, we've been new. Sis, sis? Sis, we been him. Well, that was fun, I guess. Is that what you wanted? No, it's not, because literally no one asked for this video. I just wanted to do it. And now look, I went and hurt my own feelings. That's okay, that's okay. I'm fine, I'll be fine. If you would like a part two of reading hate comments, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up so I know. And if you ever see any hate comments, feel free to just screenshot them and send them my way. You know, I'm gonna really regret telling people to do that because I'm gonna see all the hate that I don't usually see, but like 24 seven. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> if there are any video ideas you'd like to see me do, just leave it in the comment below and I will do it. Maybe. <laughs> Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell, and I'll see you next time. Ooh, I just cracked my back. Bye. Oh.